Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about prokaryotic ribosomes. The prokaryotic ribosomes are about 20 nanometers in diameter and are made up of proteins and RNA. The RNA present in the ribosome is called rRNA or ribosomal RNA. The ribosomes are made up of 65% rRNA and 35% ribosomal proteins. In prokaryotes, the ribosomes can be associated with the cell membrane or can be present freely in the cytoplasm. The ribosomes present in the cytoplasm makes cytoplasmic proteins, whereas the ribosomes associated with the cell membrane makes protein that are transported outside the cell. On the basis of their sedimentation profile during centrifugation, the prokaryotic ribosomes are also called 70S ribosomes. The 70S ribosome is made up of 50S and 30S subunits. The 50S subunits has about 31 ribosomal proteins, whereas the 30S subunit have about 21 ribosomal proteins. If we talk about rRNA, then the 50S subunit is made up of 23S and 5S rRNA, whereas the 30S subunit is made up of 16S rRNA. It should be noted that the ribosome do not function on their own, but it requires other factors such as initiation factors for initiation of translation, elongation factors for elongation of the polypeptide chain, and termination factors for the termination of protein synthesis. The ribosomes have three sides that play an important role in protein synthesis. These sites are termed as E site, P site, and the A site. A site is a region where the charged tRNA binds. The P site is a region that has peptidyl transfers activity and it plays an important role during elongation of protein synthesis. E site is a region where the uncharged tRNA exits the ribosome 